Welcome back to Toffee TV, the preview show ahead of the 2016-2017 season. We've already discussed Ronald Koeman's arrival at Everton. We are now going to talk about pre-season. We, we kind of alluded to it. Ronnie's not happy with it. So, David, I'll come to you to get the positivity in before Ronnie takes the wheels off it. The pre-season so far, um, good, bad, indifferent? I thought it was boring. I thought that we... It's coming uh, to him for the negativity. <laughs> well, you, I was going to say you'll this. See, Vance picked the wrong you'll, one again. You'll, you'll, get, you'll get it from him. <laughs> um, I um, I don't know why we play these pre-season games at Goodison. Yeah, I'm with you on that. You know, we, when, uh, when I ran the From Players Foundation, we had a deal whereby we'd, we'd play a pre-season game and the money from it would go to you know to the former players foundation right. uh, which was a really good source of income and if you get 18,000 people there then it's a, it's a nice pocket of change mm. for for the, uh, the former players um, as it is now i have a feeling that it's something of a waste of time the football is turig i mean it's it's boring mm. and uh, the, you know the crowd shows up full of optimism and i think most of them wish they hadn't bothered um, so I'm not sure what the purpose of it is. Uh, I can't wait for the season to start. I used to like the days, it's before your time and maybe even before Ronnie's time and certainly before Pez's time, when we used to play the uh, the Blues against the Ambers right. and they used to kick one another. That's what you call a pre-season. <laughs> played, it, played in that when I was 15, David. I know, I know, I know you can't believe I'm that old. But uh, I played that and I totally agree with you. I mean, you used to kick each other, but... You know, when you're a young kid playing with Bowley and Johnny Morrissey and Joe Royal and all that, massive lift. The crowd used to love it. It was a tradition, but I think the tradition now is is play the last home game before the next, you know, the next Saturday, and it's just nothing. Get it, me by a Spanish team, it, as well. Well, well it's you know, you talk about a downer. You, you know, you're not really going there to bang the drum and the supporters going home with a smile on the face. It's just you don't want to be there. Yeah. You just feel like saying, "I'm an Evertonian. I'll go." But then you're walking out the ground thinking, what was all that about? And, and again, you've got a week to go before the season kicks off. Play play much better. I mean, we used to play in Holland, and I can't believe Koeman hasn't gone there. It's not that far. Supporters would love to get over there. The opposition's great. Yeah. Lovely place to go. Road to Kirkrada, Feyenoord, Ajax, PSV, who you want to play. It's it's a fabulous place to go. And, and you're playing good opposition. Mm. Then you're back home, no problem. But I think it's been a really poor yeah. pre-season. I, I don't know how much of it was in his, in his hands, Ron, because I think it's... No, I think you're the right. The last two have been... We've yeah. said this so... Man, man is again, his pre-seasons were just terrible. Yeah. Every year, it was all last minute. Mm. Playing games at Sammy. I, 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 I can't understand why we don't play a couple of games here and go away. So You've got to go now. Where the money is, you've yeah, got to go to the states. You've got to go to America. Yeah. Well, we have, no, we it's, have this, a, it's this we're, brand, though, David. What yeah. we're supposed to be getting? Yeah. But we're, and we're, we're playing we're, Barnsley. But we have a history. I was going to say we have a history of touring America, yeah, we do. but we yeah, don't yeah. do it now. We don't do it when we have two of the American mm. idols, Tim <laughs> Howard and uh, Landon Donovan. Oh, We've got we have the two yeah. best known we are, American players. We had a name in America which was very strong because of Howard, Landon Donovan. Joe Preppy, Max Joe Maxmore. We had a good name in America, Wait. and that's draining away. And the likes of Chelsea and Man City are coming massive because not only because they're winning things, because they go back every year. They go yeah. back every yeah. year. They, they, they've established an identity, and as you say, we're playing Barnsley. Yeah. Well, you know, our one goal for this season, at the end of this season, is for us to have on our shirts a name yeah. that Americans know. Yeah. That should be one of our, that may be one of the mm. biggest things we've got to do this year yeah. is get a sponsor that has a worldwide name on it. But it's, yeah, but it's not only just that though, is it? It's, it's the, okay, there's this new tournament that's taken over, this ICC, which has monopolised yeah. all the big mm. teams. And you see Liverpool playing against the likes of AC Milan, playing really tough games in hot conditions, mm. really testing them. But, you know, there are other teams you can play out there if we can't get in there. Moyes loved it because the facilities were so good. Yeah. We, we even brought... We were in it, though. We were yeah. in it when we played, Bit of a f uh, we played Juventus, Juventus. So. we played Real yeah, Madrid. Right. Moyes' brother got us in that, funny enough. Yeah. Cause well, he... we, well, I mean, we watched MLS. Stoke have just played Orlando yeah. City like two weeks yeah. ago. Everton could be over there. Get into the schools, that's a big... I know more that, you know, the soccer schools that they have, the summer camps. Yeah. Get some local identity there. Go and play one of the major league soccer teams within the midweek. Get your training done there, establish that brand. Chelsea have done it for years, like you said, City do it. You can play the likes of Barnsley for yeah. your first one and then disappear. But I just we, we sat there Saturday, I'm sure you you two gentlemen done exactly the same. And we were saying, Why do we bother playing this game here? Because mm. you get beat and you go out going, I 
that. Yeah. And they play. Well, you've gone we, to the ground. Exactly. But we've missed the trick with the two biggest names in American football yeah. history, mm. Landon Donovan. Mm. Yeah. And, you know, even Obama was talking about Tim Howard. Yeah. yeah. And you think, you know, we're slow again off the field to, be fair, Ron, to, to react. To be fair, Ron, we went to the States once and we were playing in Philadelphia. And Howard was a huge, uh, huge name. It was before the that World Cup, I think, or around the same, around the time. Huge name, and they promised that he was going to play in the game. And Moyes wouldn't let him play, and they brought him on at half time to wave. And Philly went absolutely the, mental because they'd yeah. sold the yeah, tickets yeah, on the yeah. game on the basis on the of Howard of playing. Yeah. Was, so we've never done it well. It was shortly after the World Cup. Yeah, I, I well, remember we, it well. We were talking the other day about this as well. We went over there one year and we played the MLS All Stars. Yeah, and we played in a training top. Because our away kit hadn't been released yet. Yeah. So we played in that's, a training cup. That's but let me, I know, let, let, and, and we missed out on this huge like game and a huge chance to show off this new kit because some idiot hadn't like said, Oh, you well, might no, you know. No, let's not call them an idiot. Well they and are idiots now. Anyway. No, they no, are. Let's not well, call they them were, idiots. Were. Were. And and let's now to celebrate the fact that we won the MLS trophy. <laughs> on penalty. And when, you, and, and, and when you add it to well, we the never Friendship Cup, on but that. when you add it to the Everton <laughs> versus the Everton Chile Friendship Cup, <laughs> Then we've had silver. Don't forget, we have we're, had silver. And we won the, don't forget Australia. the Australian one as well. We won that. Oh, I'm not aware of that one. 2010, we won it, yeah. The yeah. Phil Neville lifted them. We just got to win them a little bit nearer home now. <laughs> well, what was great about... Well, what I was going to say <laughs> with the pre-season thing was that, that year when we won the Australian Cup, we... Uh, I think the pre-season we won six and three one, and everyone was like, "Yeah, we're, yeah. we're well cooked now. We're ready to go." And we went to Blackburn, and our, yeah. our yeah. esteemed American goalie threw the ball in his net. We got beat one 0 yeah. So pre-season really doesn't. I mean, we had Liverpool who won the World Cup on Saturday, and then yeah. lost yeah. lost Mains, the yeah. can, FA Trophy on Sunday. Can I just so. add about Tim Howard? He still is throwing the ball into his own net. <laughs> Oh yeah, we've seen him. Yeah, we've seen him. He had a clean sheet Saturday. Lampard has it. He did. No, but he no, left no, five. He's he left playing five it on the altitude in Colorado, but mm. I don't think yeah, it and, is there. And the back four, the five-one. I watched that, and he blamed everyone around himself like, again. Lampard's record would have been rubbish against Everton if Howard yeah, wasn't. Yeah. Yeah. No, but it's it's <laughs> not just. I mean, it, there's the commercial aspect of a pre-season. Mm. Of course, we are terrible at that. We always have been, and we need someone needs to wake up to that. But it's the intensity to, for me as well. You know, we, you, you see, okay. Same about Liverpool. Liverpool have gone and played ba- Barcelona in front of 90,000. Unbelievable. Fair play to him. And then he's had half of the team playing against Mainz in Germany on the, the next day. The next day. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now that's in, that's we, unbelievable. We, we were there on Saturday and oh, we were just so slow and ponderous. And anyone who went there probably spent most of the game talking to the mates who they haven't seen for a couple mm. of months because mm. they haven't been the match of them. And that's what it's like. And we were saying, we're, what we're, is the point? We're losing the momentum. Exactly. We started with momentum uh, after we got rid of the manager and we attracted a mm. new manager and we brought in his brother and we brought in the director of football and we've got a good momentum going and nice words in the paper yeah. and all the, all the gossip about who we're going to sign. And then it's dissipated. And to the point where I think the game on Saturday was a real negative, yeah, yeah, you know, because yeah. you think that we can't but it's beat a, these. It, it's always the hard one, though, David, getting the first one. That's what I was saying. The emphasis should have been on, oh, it's not saying Ashley Williams' top draw, but he had a really good Euro. Yeah. It's what we need. He's a baller, he's a shouter, he'll pull and push and he'll get his body in the way. Um, he'll make other people play, you yeah. know, and maybe bring the kids on, whether John Stone says or he doesn't at the back. But... You know, the longer it goes on, and, and you're right, we could beat Tottenham, but I'm, I'm looking at longer term. The, the majority of the time, if you have a poor pre-season with no signings, I think we're one of the only clubs that, that haven't really but, you know, but got, got you a top-draw player. But when you then. thought, uh, Ronnie, that the first thing he should have signed was a leader. Mm. Yeah. He should have brought in his leader, Do you not think... even if it was like the equivalent of an, a Phil Neville, bring in a leader. Well, you don't Do know whether he's, he's tried to, with Southampton, he might have an agreement where I won't go back in for players for 12 months. Yeah, we, but we he must know. What, he, he, but you know, Fonte not Williams, you, you want a player of, of that ilk. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and we haven't got it. We haven't got it. I think he's come in and... and Wanted to just assess if he had any leaders before, and well, I don't know whether he thinks he comes in, and he has got that name, and as you say, absolutely world class footballer, and I think he's done fantastic since he's been in the Premier League. But whether he thought I'll keep Lukaku and Stones, mm. I'll just do me blag, no problem whatsoever, you're in. But you need other players to keep yeah. players but, and attract others. Ped, so that's what I'm saying about mm. you know, pay ten million over the odds. It doesn't yeah. matter. Get that first one in, yeah. then it's the old domino effect. But I just think now we're stalling a bit. 
and it's only a week to go and as I say if we get beat or it's a draw against Tottenham which we've done how many slow starts have we done you know, recent years. Well, we which, lost. Which is, we lost four one. We after lost four one month. to Tottenham in the year yeah, yeah, we won the league, didn't we? Yeah, eighty five. You know, and uh, so let's not just use that one game. Yeah. But we need to pick up some momentum. We need to hit that. Have you been need... to chairs? You, you bro- <laughs> I have lit been a to few church. candles. I have been to church. Well, that's today, good. I'll go fact. with that one. The thing is, no, I mean, the, the thing is, I mean, we've still got what a couple of weeks left of the the window shuts, and I mean, if the season doesn't end on Saturday, it starts on Saturday, doesn't it? So. You know, I mean, what, what do you think we need then, Ron? I mean, in the squad? A goalkeeper, on a shadow of a doubt. Uh, the Robles one, you know, I, I said over Tim Howard. Tim Howard's going through a bad time. Sink or swim with Robles. I, I think he's he's sunk. Um, you know, not, 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 you know, I think he's got two fingers up and the third one goes under. But um, it, it, I don't think he's good enough to get us, yeah. you know, top four, which we want, or to win silverware. Um, you, you know, you've got centre-half, whether... Whoever it is, top draw centre half. As I'm saying, over with Ashley Williams or whoever. And I think last time I was on Baz, you mentioned over a uh, short cross mm. from, um, mm. from Stoke. Stoke. Yeah. You know, forget the the club and the name. We need someone like that, winning headers, winning tackles, I, getting I, other people to can play. Can I throw in the name of Scott Dan? I think Scott. Yeah, Scott, yeah, Scott Dan. Well, we, 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 well a, by all accounts, we had him. Yeah. Scott Dan wanted to come. I've heard from good sources, and again, typical Evan. It goes totally belly up when he's got the pen in his hand. You know, I don't know how many times we, we've said things about that, but the quicker we move on and, and get someone else, and we were talking about wish lists before, um, if it's not going to work, it's either a yeah or a nay, you've, you've got to move on and get someone in. I think desperate, absolutely desperate with Kone and Nias at the club, you, you've got to get, I'd say two strikers, yeah, you, you might definitely. say one. No, we need, say we need, well, we need two, and I think again, we've got great kids coming through, you know, Tom Davis for me is going to be top, top yeah. draw, but what we've got to do is protect them. And, and have other fellas and then I'll go back over the Barry one if we're depending on him to have a regular season this year we're not going to get anywhere to be honest you know he's great professional and fantastic but as we said with Tony a bit you move on and similar mm. with James McCarthy whether we get the best out of him we'll have to wait and see but he's been a massive disappointment for me after that first season mm. he's just there you know he runs around I watched him in the Euros for the Republic thought he's done absolutely nothing and, and you can get anyone um, for me out of the first and second division to do what he's doing is running around and, and try and get tackles in but you need that bit of quality massive season for, for Ross Barkley but he needs help you know you can't keep saying um, you, you know with Ross uh, we want to play this way or that way which Martinez did hopefully Cooman can say lad I've got so much confidence in you I want you to play this way get the ball and, and give him that confidence I, I have a feeling that Cooman is going to get the best out of Ross yeah. Well, be, and be, I, I really do I think. I mean I think Ross is a tremendous talent yeah. I, I mean a, but that's what I'm saying with David with Barry and McCarthy we no, no, we, no. we've got to get other you, players you've got in other players to, to complement him we saw, I agree we yeah. saw a lad Saturday the only outfield yeah, player yeah. we've signed yeah. at least a Ghana guy yeah. mm-hmm. as Ghana on the mm-hmm. share for whatever yeah. reason yeah. I personally I was quite impressed with him I know we give the penalty away and it, it you know, we could see it a mile away that it was coming, mm-hmm. that challenge. But I thought after that, he got his head up, thought he got round the pitch well, he mm-hmm. broke a lot of stuff up. His first touch wasn't great, but he can work on that. I thought, I was quite impressed with him. Well, he he he'd he done well last year for Villa in a very, very poor Villa team. Mm-hmm. Really in top three with tackles, you know, interceptions, everything. And as you've said, you know, good home debut for him. Mm-hmm. But I was to say, he's got to make his mind up quickly over James McCarthy. Yeah. Are you going to sell him if he's not in the plans? You know, he's as you're saying over um, over Ghana's going to be in the team. We've got to do it quickly, and we can't say, you, you know, again, um, if we don't hit the ground running, you, you know, we can wait for the first month and see how it goes. No. The transfer windows closed, and what you've got, you've got to have for the next six months, and, well, and we need players in desperately. Ped, I mean, you know, it's kicking on now. Mm. It's what the eighth of August today. The, the transfer window, like you just alluded to, just three weeks to go, really. Um, what what should he do, the manager? If he's got if he's got this list, as we've all yeah. spoke of, he's got this list and it contains better players than what we've been able to go for. Should he just almost forget about that list and try and just bridge it with players who are average? Or... Do you know what he? Do you know what he should have done? And I, well, some people might disagree with me. I think he should have been a bit noi- bit noisier about the players he wanted. Mm. Made it no, no. If we've put bids in for players, make it public. Yeah. Give the fans a little bit of. You know, fans, we, we see it every day, social media, fans are starting to really doubt the whole thing now. Whether Kuma's the right man, whether Machini's actually got mm. any money. Mm. People are starting, and that, people might just think that lives in a bubble on the internet or whatever, but that, that, that drifts into, like... Well, I think something we should do here is stop that. 
I'm seriously. I mean, we're not here to, to throw we... cold water on this season. The season has just started. Let's be optimistic. Oh yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not. We've been saying this for case. a long time. Let's be optimistic here. I mean, we've got a top class manager. We've got a top class coaching system. We've got a you know maybe the best mm. director of football, and we've got a uh, we've got a, a an investor who I think we uh, we've been waiting ten Definitely. years for. Let's just let's just not be too. But I don't want to keep, I don't want to keep being sure. negative, David. But honestly, if we win the next six games, happy days. But I tell you well, now, you we, we won't finish. First, we won't finish in Europe with the squad we've got. I'll tell well, you that now. But that I'll won't state be the now. Hang on. But that won't but, be the squad what you, we'll yeah, have. But what you do, what you do in the next three weeks, mm. I'm telling you now, is either going to be a spring for the rest of the season, yeah. or we're totally going to go belly up. Because I keep saying to you, Chelsea wasn't in, in the frame last year, they will be this year. I think that what worries you, me, Ron, is... You've got a lot... Answer me an initial question. All right. Answer me an initial question. What was it? My initial question was, <laughs> if he's got this list, yeah. you, and these no, are no, names, yeah. Carvalho, yeah. Witzel, no, Matter, no. Kubali, should he then go, right, I'm not, these aren't going to give me an answer until nobody else no, wants well, them no, on the 30th yeah. of August. Do you, know so do, I go? do you know what's annoyed me? If he's gone in for Ashley Williams and he's been knocked back, if we're going back for him, why, why, why hasn't day. he gone? Why didn't he go in the next day? Hmm. Why didn't he go in the next you know, hour? How long did, does, did he have to boot the fax machine up? Yeah, but it's not rocket science, Ped. You turn around and you go, if it was 10 million we've offered, are we going to go to 12? That's it. Do they want 15? Yeah. So you just say, is that is that your offer? You know, is it going to be that? We're not going higher than 12. And then if they say, no, we want 15, bye, and you move on. Well, we should have moved on. No, we should have moved on to the second guy. I don't definitely guy. totally agree with you, David, but, but that's what I'm saying to you. It happened under Martinez. And anything. the last day, it's panic buys. And then Nias won. I know his, his whole career is not based on that Martinez. But I tell you now, a lot of answers have, have, haven't been, you know, I'm not being, questions took, that you want to ask. It took, the answers aren't there. The way we negotiate, honest to God, it took Terry way quicker to get out of uh, yeah. uh, out of Iran or whatever he was. Uh, we ne our so negotiations we, so was so the, slow. So to reiterate my question for the third time, <laughs> do we then leave that yes. list alone? Right, we, so we, we just go for like a go after. Island. Go no, after no, box, not no, you'd, box. Love, you'd no. love to say it, Ped, but we're no, not no. in that. We're yeah. not in that yet. You, you, and and oh, the old no. top and bottom of it, you know, to get kids that'll come in and over the next five, six, seven years, we could even sell them on. But you need someone where we're going to start now and then start doing that. You know, as you said, you can go about Higuain and all that. It sounds lovely. Yeah. Michiri's in and we could have bought him. Not in a million years. We're going to pay 58 million or 65, what he yeah. ended up yeah. going for. We, we've got to do it. And I, and I keep saying to you, this is going to be the hardest league ever. It really is. And if we don't start, and you know, David's right, you know, we don't want to be negative, but all we're doing is realistic. Mm -hmm. You know, at the end of it, saying if we don't do this in three weeks, the jaw gets slammed shut. You don't sign anyone for the next six months. Get a couple of injuries. You start looking around right, thinking, right, 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 Be more optimistic. We've got this list. We've made this the shopping list of, of star players. Shows that list, star, David. Star players, right? I'm sh I'm convinced that we'll get two of them. Mm. May we may not be the first, you know, the the the, the best mm. date. We yeah, have to yeah. go on to eHarmony to get them. <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to. I think we're on in. Tinder by we now. We may well be, but we're going to get two of them. Heads never off there. They aren't our first. <laughs> we're not their first choice. No, no, this, yeah. but we will get two of them because that's the draw. I think the problem. Well, who's your two then? Who's your two? Let's go. Well, I don't know. Maybe you made sure to be a goalie and a striker. Hang on, let's have you know the list. Bring it this. All right, you. This is a horse comes through in a minute. You want to marry it? Can I go? David, so yes, sir. To, I'll ask you because Ped hasn't answered it. I have answered it. So are you just saying it's it's a case of being patient? Just be no, hang on. I'm, or I'm saying it's a case of because we need six really. He should don't we? know there are two central positions, three central positions, but he should know who his goalkeeper is. Out there, hmm. I mean, you know, he's he been might in say the goalie. Mean, well, if that's the case, we've got problems because we we were looking for someone of a lot higher right. quality yeah. and younger. No, but as I that, said, Ped did, that though. doesn't show ambition. Let me just. Oh, sorry, me go, just on, go, on, go on. And the second one is we need to have a leader the come come uh, centre half. We need to have a leader. We need to have someone but, who can organise them. Now he should know who that is. Well, look, by you all know, accounts, it's Ashley Williams, isn't it? He? He's been left no, out. No, I don't think that was his first choice. At well, all. I think you know, I think, Valley, I think, I think we, we, his first we, we, we're coming down here, mm. but he needs to have got those two sorted out, and then we need to have yeah, a playmaker. Yeah. We need someone who can pass the ball. Baz, can I just space. can I just throw another another? Go on. 
I mean, Ronnie will know more about this, but obviously football footballers and football managers talk to each other on, don't they? So, yeah. do you think there could be a case that he's actually waiting for other things to happen in the transfer market before he goes? Because, and I'll I'll throw I'll, I'll throw a name in. Juan Mata. Mm. Now it's clear today now that he's yeah, yeah, he's yeah. got no future. But maybe he's someone he likes, and maybe it's it's waiting for. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't get him. Another name, no, th- which think... might be pie in the sky, Joe Hart. Man City have been looking at yeah. Stegen for a yeah. while. Yeah. Now maybe that will start snowball, and maybe Joe Hart. I'm not saying he is. I'm just saying maybe Joe, and he's just waiting for those other things. Because Paul, this Paul Pogba deal, let's, that's going to gonna, kick things off. That's yeah. going to kick things off everywhere, yeah, no. I think, in football. Yeah, but you they have already started yeah, but, that, haven't you? But they have, but most of that's gone. But. That at Man United that might start things yeah, though, yeah, mightn't yeah, yeah. The likes of Schneidlin will be yeah, thinking that. But that's Mata. why we always finish up on, st- the, on the transfer on the eve of the transfer yeah. window, isn't it? Because all these things fall in the place, it takes time and to... we pick up the ones that we can we can pick up. Let me just, if I may, take over here. <laughs> yeah, because you've not done that at all. I'm doing my best to be. I said tonight I'll be wise and, and dignified. What's our expectations? Well, that's another that's video. Another video. video. Go so there. just chill. <laughs> just chill, David. We're going to move. We're going to move on to you. 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 We're going to move You know, pass me the cushion. <laughs> and what we'll do is we'll pass it when you can speak. Could, um, can, I, can I ask for a change in format? Do you two want to leave and Ronnie and I will just carry on? <laughs> yeah, we're going to have a drink. Because yeah. after the 12,000 subscribers, I think you've got 15,000. I think you've got 15,000. I think that's fantastic. And you and I coming on here, David, could just push them well, forward. It will, David, before, before we, go, we go to the next well, no, video. No, before we go to that, I, oh, okay. I want to just a little bit. Uh, go on, mate, go on. Uh, Ron and Dave, bring David into it. Delafay was a centre forward. No, 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 no. Okay. <laughs> As soon as the season starts, I've, I've said to Baz before, I've heard, not in a million years. And uh, again, it's all like playing at Barnsley and being excited and this, that and the other. On a frosty day in Stoke, um, when Shawcross is coming right through, no, yeah, do us a favour. Exactly. It's and th- this enough. is what's surprising me with mm-hmm. Koeman. If he doesn't know that, something's up. Now, he, his, his fitness may have improved since last year, which again was a massive thing. After 60 minutes, he was blown out of every orifice that you've That's seen. And, and it's poor. So Koeman, you know, again... You know, we want to be positive, but we're, we're, we've got to start saying a few things going, nah. Should he have, should he, for me, and I, I've said this a lot. Well, well, just sorry to interrupt you. That's why we, we need at least two strikers in. Yeah. Because we, we, it's like the old, well, we'll play him there, see how he goes. And you, you just turn and say, we need two strikers. If you get about Lukaku going, we still need two see, strikers. I would, have gone, I would have gone straight back and tried to get Chain Long. That's the first thing yeah. I would have. Well, I, I would have, I would have again, like, yeah, like I, we I started think, with, the, yeah, yeah. they were saying about the list. Surely players like that must have been on his plays he knew because everyone thought he was going to go back to Southampton. They might have, they, he might have had that. And, but I would have made that. I know this and is the not fee, a good thing. Though, the fee's not. The fee's not. But I would have. I would have. I would have made that public. Though. I would have gone out and I would. This. I know this is. It's almost playing to the to the crowd. But I think fans, if it's not happening, they want to just be. Well, I think See, that, I think you're being anxious. I think you just need to be patient. You know, uh, we a week from now things could be. Well, a you lot said different. that before. Um, you said you nearly fell asleep on Saturday. I did. <laughs> and what I said was, can I just say this? And I want to have this recorded. <laughs> In fact, you I made tra- it. I travelled tra- 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 ten thousand miles to go to that game on Saturday. I think. I think only because and, it, it and I paid, in Gunderson, and I, I think you'd have been in the bar. And I paid my money to go and <laughs> sit there, and I lasted half an hour. David, have, have, because I had better things. To be fair, to right? If you'd gone 10,000 miles in a different direction, you would have hit the moon and you would have found a better <laughs> atmosphere. So, also, I'll say. He sounded like the pretenders then, didn't he? he? Just on it, and just I on the <laughs> Delafe, you think. I think he can play up front, but he can't play up front in a one. He's not on oh, his no, own because he no. can't protect the ball. No. If he's going to play up, he'd have to play as a as split a runner, striker as or as a runner. runner yeah. And you'd have to have then. Someone like it's, more, it's different Boney formations again, though, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. But, you, you I, know but I want that, Rob. We sat oh, here. Oh, no. You I've were got... on three yeah, or four yeah, times. Yeah, yeah, we sat yeah, yeah. here going, we know what the formation's going to be at the weekend. Yeah. We know what the team's going to be. But we've we got to the make... players now to adapt to it. Hopeful. But, well, no. You know, your McCarthy's, we've, your Barry's. Got... I, I think they can only play one more. I think what we've got is we've got we've got a manager that likes to be flexible but really he doesn't tell you he's flexible he actually likes to be the other fella told him he was flexible but was literally and the other one the we, have, we haven't mentioned Morales you're alright with Morales no one's mentioned them 
Uh, so, so would you keep oh, I, him? Would you let oh, him go? I like Morales. 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 So you'll have Delafeu and Morales in the same team. I would have Morales in the team. I you think have better with Delafeu. With Delafeu. No, not necessarily. See, I, I like Morales, Morales but I, another Pondy. I think Pondry. he's a top class player who was treated extremely badly by the previous mm. regime. It's a good job. That one. He threw, he threw a party after Martin has got him. Um, the Belgian job, yeah. 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 I, wonder See, he, I, I wonder what he threw on, his, on his Wednesday retirement, night. His retirement party. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think the pair of them can play, but I think it dictates what's behind them. Yeah. I, think, I don't think they can play mm. with the midfield we've got at the moment. Cause yeah. they, hey, they don't. Even though they were tracking back a lot of the weekend, they were working a bit harder. Delafay's worked harder than I've ever seen him work for yeah, yeah. to be honest, this yeah. season. Probably because he knows he's got to. Mm. But the midfield makeup's wrong. And then when with Romelu Lukaku, as good as he is in terms of goals, he, he's not someone who goes foraging. No. He just wants it on a plate. And I'm not, I'm not, you know, I want us to keep well, that's him. That's with, with the Shane team. Long. You, you need, yeah. you need a bit of variety up front. I mean, you seen Vardy yesterday. Yeah. And and you know, there's a player who's come through the non-league system, but his weight <laughs> ethic is unbelievable. Yes. And again, his goal. I mean, he took his goal, man. You know, goes around and. Let he, me ask you. How did question. we miss out on that Musa, by the way? When we got the other fella. What, what videos were we watching and what videos were they I watching? I know they got Musa yeah. from Russia. He's for a, for an X a million and a half yeah. quid. Ben Tecker, been linked with Everton, yes or no? Would you take him or not? Well, Ben Tecker again. You see, the, the big thing for me is Lukaku. If, he, if he's going to stay or, or is he going to anyway. go? Oh, no. If but, he goes, we need three. But Ben Tecker, I don't know, 32 million, but we, we need someone who can hold the ball up. You know, Pella, I thought we may have got with him. Um, you know, not lightning not quick. But, 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 but as, yeah, but as, as, as a focal point, which we need. And as you said over Lukaku, he won't run channels, he won't work hard. He, he's got, I'm not saying he's going to have the ball, you know, six yards score out and goals, tap it in. He gets goals, but, but he'll score he? your goals. But we need other, yeah. other players yeah. to do the running. I'd say to Lukaku, if, if we had the players, just staying in around that penalty area. Mm. It's only cost you dinner. I wouldn't say Latch was a massive runner. No. You know, channels and, and all that. But sticking in, that penalty area the, and, and usually invariably will end up in the back of the The problem I think Lukaku has for us, and you might agree, you might disagree, but as a player, when you're playing football and you look over at the bench, if you see someone and you think, he's going to take, he's gonna come on for me if I'm not doing yeah. it. If he looks over and I'm not being funny, I'm going to say this on camera, I would rather have Nias than Coney, and I've said that it's out there. Right, because Coney to me is one of the... But I still anyway. think we're too nice, Barry. I mean, if you've got fellas in midfield, and he was talking on, on Sky before about it, Arsenal is just going to be the same. We watched him yesterday. Yeah, they're they're too nice. The they're all nicey on Arsenal. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, they're happy. You know, Wenger is especially to get him forth. Do us a favour. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, absolutely awful. And um, I think we're too nice. You, you know, Lukaku's well, the yeah. one where you can conjole him. Mm. And then if he needs it, you know, if there was a Roy Keane there, you watch Lukaku play then. Yeah, play, yeah. You know, it'll be the look at him and say, Williams, if you don't mate. start, if you don't start running, I'm telling you now. You know, as soon as we get in the dressing room, you're up against the uh, the door. And I just think I like we're, the we're, we're, we're too oh, nice. Martinez, it's filtered through to the players, and Cumin now, hopefully, because he's done it at Southampton, is the one who, who won't take much. any prisoners. Oh, yeah, he'll, he'll give it out. But we definitely, I'm, I'm with you, we 100% need two strikers. If Rom goes, we need three for me. David, mm. let's come to your little section. We'll call it David's section <laughs> at the end of the video. What have you got for us this time? <laughs> I've got a book. A lot um, of books, but it, this is a no, new one. You nearly forgot the them, one. didn't you? <laughs> <laughs> I was just going to say something witty. Everton Crazy! Was, yeah. It's called Everton Crazy, it's right. and it's my autobiography. And uh, Is, is this uh, a David? This is, uh, <laughs> that's me. That Look at all crazy. these things here! Hey, looks, let me just... That's just, uncanny. Let me do the promo, oh, lads. Go on then, go so, on. You look uh, like Lee Carsley, aren't you? By the way. That's a compliment. That's all right. Yeah, they'll put it down. Are you doing that? <laughs> Are you doing the promo? Don't forget you're going home Wednesday. That's right. <laughs> That's right. It's out on the 27th of September. It's my life story. Watching Everton for 60 years. God bless me. And travelling 2 million miles to do so. Which, as you know, is to the moon and back. There you go. Four and times. you worked for NASA. And he's going to tell us about his mate at the Jet Propulsion Lab. <laughs> no, we've done that before. We've done that before. We've done that one before. So when's so it coming out? It's on the 27th of September. It's a limited issue of 1,000 copies. Oof. It will fly out. It's 1878 is the price. And it's about... Clever. Well, I love the way it, no, it'll me fly out when it's a zone autobiography. It, it will do. Well, it will. Because let me, let me <laughs> you tell you... You can't lack in confidence now, you. you know. I've had people look at it and they... <laughs> I have it, looked at it. Different class, different class. Lad. No, I, I, it's, it's, a quality, it's a quality book. 
and uh, it took me a few years to write then I stopped writing it for just a couple of years while we had Martinez because I had to sort of you know <laughs> I, put it on, I put it on the step to, to, to cool <laughs> down and then when we got the new investor in I thought oh, I'm going to finish this one yeah. and uh, it's about and it's the same story for everyone the impact that Everton has on us you know from a kid it was yeah. my crutch you know, it was the only thing I could rely on. And I was I was brought up and yeah. we were poor, and it was going to Everton was, you know, the best thing Same. around. Mm -hmm. You know, as as I got older, it was something where I met my mates. It was a thing I could rely on. Obviously, living overseas, it became my companion. You know, yeah. I can travel all around the world, come back to Goodison, and it's lovely. The people, there's people like you there. Actually, there's people like you there who are more optimistic. <laughs> But it is, and that's the story of our lives as Evertonians. But, but it is, I've, I've seen it, I, I think I told you before, um, I, I met David, um, he was a very good friend, and obviously he's a patron of my charity now with, with John Grantchester, Lord Grantchester, and you know, we went in for, for a quick gab about the book and a few other things about the charity. I've been in for a quick gab with him, I, I know. my dinner, <laughs> and then four hours later, yeah. um, you know, it was Mrs. Phone from America, and how are you doing, you're okay, and I, I got to get on the phone to her anyway, told her, he's all right, he's all right with me. And um, we had to declare, David, didn't we? You, you know, we, we talked about Everton, and that's that's what the difference with when I say about Evertonians. I mean, we, we just rabbited on for four hours, flew over, and the book's fantastic, by the way, absolutely I brilliant. You. And the other thing, which is kindly David's doing, I've got a dinner on the twenty fifth, and we're calling it Local Heroes, and it's Derek Manfield and God love him, John, ba John Bailey of November. November. Now we're doing it, and David's kindly donated the books. Um, well, I've signed it, which, you know, when you put it on eBay, it might go down. <laughs> but uh, we've got it where David wanted it to be a little bit personal, and he's going to sign them. So we've done 300 we might get something for, the, for the ones who come. And uh, it's fantastic, David. It really is. I appreciate I've, I've really, it. Really good. And, it, and it's funny. Oh, and it's yeah. aptly titled. It's called Everton Crazy, and it's funny. I mean, there's lots well, the of The caricatures in that, them are brilliant. Uh, and, I mean, maybe his next one, if you can fit it in, used to, and oh, be beautiful. Oh, would would the they, caricature have, of these two We could be, have a special you know, copy that they sell. I, I, I think we'll do they that. They could sell it under we'll the that. counter at the news agents. You know, <laughs> we could have a special copy for these <laughs> two lads. Limited edition. I'm in other stuff they sell under the counter at uh, news agents. So let's but but I know you're going to put the, the dinner on, the 25th. <laughs> yeah. and, and as I say, appreciate that. And, and we'll, uh, we'll let you be back. You'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. Going to be back before you. I'll be back on. at the launch of the book. Yeah, I'm September. looking forward to it. Yeah. Sure. When's that in September? The 27th of September. The, we'll have a signing over at the Everton Two, and then we're going to have a, a day uh, before the Crystal Palace game, and then we have a Waterstones and Everton Waterstones. and Everton hey. evening with this gentleman oh. and, and a few others. Derek, Derek Mountfield. Derek Mountfield. Waterstones says it all, oh, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Hey. Tony K. Yeah, Tony K, Derek Q and A as well. Q and, Q and A. So people, I'll have to put the the tea on the low light because they, <laughs> they will, will be late do. getting home. It'll be like they Ken will. Dodd. We I, won't think, I think it'll be. We won't get home. They will get the money's worth. <laughs> oh, without they doubt, certainly will. Without doubt, I don't yeah. know. About... There would have been in Liverpool one. We could have a drink then, David, couldn't we? <laughs> well, you see, could, it's getting better because I'm it's seventeen getting years better, sober. I'll drink for you then. Listen, I don't know about Everton crazy, but I am getting crazy. You know, David, thank you very much. Look out for our next video where we will be discussing expectations for the coming season.